What's up guys, my name is Ace, and today I have a complete breakdown of every SMG in Black Ops 2. These stats were all collected and calculated by me personally, so I'm very confident in their accuracy. Although some of the numbers, such as rate of fire, were rounded slightly because it's really hard to get the exact number for that. Also, these stats were collected at launch time, so they may be patched in the future, but I'll be sure to keep you updated with those patches, so uh, stick around for that. So without further ado, let's jump right into this breakdown. So in Black Ops 2, we have a total of six submachine guns. They are the MP7, the PDW-57, the Vector K-10, the MSMC, the Chicom CQB. I'm not too sure if that's how you pronounce it, but uh, from what I could find online, that's what I found. Um, and finally, we have the Scorpion Evo 3. The first stat that I'm going to cover is the number of bullets each gun takes to kill. The first number is the number of bullets it takes to kill at close range, and the second number is the number of bullets it takes to kill at a longer range. The ones highlighted in white are the ones that are statistically best in their category. So as you can see, the PDW-57 and the MSMC are the highest damage SMGs, and they kill at 3 bullets at close range and 5 at long range. The next categories we're going to look at are the rate of fire and the time to kill. Time to kill is based off of the rate of fire and the bullet to kill statistic, and it assumes that every bullet hits its target. So remember the guns with the fastest time to kill don't necessarily kill the fastest because they are typically less accurate and you don't land every bullet on target. One quick thing that I want to point out is the Chicom CQB is a three round burst SMG. So some of these stats for that may not be entirely accurate because this is based on full auto guns. The SMGs with the highest rate of fire are the Scorpion with an insane 1500 rounds per minute. Then coming in behind that is the Chicom with about 1100 rounds per minute and the MP7 with about 1000 rounds per minute. The SMGs with the fastest time to kill are the Scorpion Evo and the Chicom, although at close range all of the SMGs kill really fast and the difference is hardly noticeable. The next category we're going to cover is the time it takes to aim down the sight of a weapon without the quick draw attachment. As you can see, all of the SMGs are the same in this category at 0.13 seconds, which is actually pretty quick, so the quick draw attachment I would say really isn't necessary for an SMG, especially since the hip fire is so effective with the SMGs. So now let's move on to reload time. This is without the fast mag attachment, and this is the time it takes to reload with reload cancelling. So it's the fastest the gun can potentially reload, and it's not the full reload animation, because we want to see the true potential of the weapon. Also, this reload time is not from an empty magazine, since most of the time when you reload, you still have some bullets in your magazine. So the fastest reloading SMGs are the MP7 and the Vector K10, both with 1.19 seconds. So now on to magazine sizes. In this game, there's a large variety of magazine sizes in the SMG category. As you can see, the PDW has the highest capacity at 50 rounds, and the MP7 is the next highest at 40 rounds, which is pretty insane. So finally, we're going to look at one of the most important stats of a gun, and that is its recoil pattern. I'm going to show you the clips of me testing the recoil so you can see the range I was shooting from, and you can see that I kept everything very consistent. So as you can see, the MP7 kicks upward quite a bit and also has quite a bit of horizontal sway. So it's definitely a gun you want to burst fire when you're shooting from a longer range. The PDW has what I would call a moderate recoil grouping. Also, the recoil within the grouping is very unpredictable, so it's really hard to control at a longer range. The Vector has the tightest grouping in the SMG category. The MSMC kicks quite randomly to the left and right, and it's really hard to control at range without burst firing, like a lot of the other SMGs we've seen. The Chicom has a fair amount of vertical recoil, but remember it's a burst fire weapon, so each burst is actually grouped very tightly, so as long as you space out your bursts a little bit, this gun is very accurate for an SMG, even at longer ranges. And finally, the Scorpion has the most extreme recoil out of all the SMGs. Having said that, the recoil is very predictable in an almost straight up direction, so it can be managed if you just know what to expect. So once again, before I show you the complete graph of all the stats, I just want to quickly remind you to rate, comment, and subscribe if you'd like. Also, you may want to favorite the video, because this is a lot of information to take in all at once, and you may want to refer back to it. So here's the complete graph with pretty much everything you need to know about the SMGs in Black Ops 2. I'm not going to tell you which gun is best, just like I did with the assault rifles. This is for you to decide, and I hope that you don't use just these stats to make that decision. 
I really want you to play around with every gun and get a feel for each of them and really make that decision for yourself. A lot of the time, the guns with the best stats may not be the best for you, so make sure you try them all out. So the next weapon breakdown I'll be doing is the semi-auto and the burst assault rifles in Black Ops 2. My name is Ace, and I'll talk to you guys next time.